87119 is a dark check out of the Gabby Vanderbilt line, which are supposed to be some older lines have thrown a lot of really, really nice racing birds. All right, everybody. So we're gonna be doing another pigeon update. I have some kind of sad news. Actually lost a pigeon. We have our, our temporary loft set up and I've shown you guys what that looks like. It's a collection of uh, some dog kennel panels because we had these lying around here. It is far from perfect, but it's one of those things that uh, had an opportunity to get these birds and I thought this will be fine for the time being. And then we will get on to building a quality loft as soon as is possible. Now, if this is the first video that you're finding of ours, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of the pigeon updates that we will be doing as we move from uh, me is trying to start this pigeon work to actually uh, getting signed up and being part of a racing club and hopefully you know, entering my first race with a team this next spring. Now, what we've got going on in here is the sad news. Oh, I almost forgot about that. We had a, uh, just the four panels set up here and one of the birds got picked off by a raccoon. So Jared, a uh, guy that works for it, actually set up here, um, kennel panels on top, on the side, and an extra row to essentially make Temporary pigeon loft Fort Knox, if you will. There's no coon problem. Then we got a little live trap there, trying to catch him if he comes back. But we're drastically safer for these guys. And for that, I am much appreciative. The bird that we ended up losing was the pink band. So I guess it really wasn't meant to be. What I'm gonna end up doing is going over here a couple things. I've got some cool stuff to show. Whoa, here we are. I've got some cool stuff to show you. And then I've also got some not so great news. Um, it's all, all the bad news in this episode or update. But I wanna go through, I'm gonna catch and show you each one of the individual new birds that are gonna be part of our racing breeders. And then from there, talk to you about a couple of them that have a little flu bug, a little sickness going on. And then what I'm doing right now based on recommendations that I've gotten from the gentleman that I got the birds from to try and help them to get over this. And the good news with that is it's already starting to work. So let me get this camera set up here. And then we will get started with the little show and tell so you can see each bird and we can talk about genetics a little bit on each one of them. Perfect. So a couple things. First of all, um, keeping water nice and clean. And we actually have treated this water with uh, lictomycin, which is gonna help with coccidia if they have any, if that in fact is what's going on. I'm um, not 100% sure, you know, they are baby pigeons. Oh, ho, ho. But band number would be band number 1490 is one of the Sion birds that we've got. It is uh, written down here as a silver. I am still learning all of the pigeon colors, but the gentleman I got them from wrote them down here as silver. You can kind of see. And this is one of the birds that isn't feeling the greatest. You can feel in him, you can feel he's kind of thin, but I know for a fact he is eating today, which is one of the first days I've really seen him eat well in the past few days. So I think he's starting to feel better. We were treating with, I treated the water with the lactomycin as well as this guy and a couple of the others are getting uh, metronidazole. That was another recommendation from the gentleman that is breeding. So that's one of the Sion birds and that's 1490. And then 1491, this again, sea on birds. It's a loft out of California. If you start looking up some information on them, you'll see they've won a lot of stuff. Now, the specific birds these are out of, they've got a bunch of winnings here on different lengths of miles. They seem to be a pretty versatile all the way around bird. Uh, first in 
100 mile races all the way up to 500 mile races. So you've got those short distance and medium distance winners here. But this is the um, brother or sister. I'm not 100% sure yet on sex of them. But this is the other uh, sea on bird that would be the sibling to the last. And this bird's feeling great. Uh, live, spunky. There you go, babe. Happy to be alive. 1490, got its first round there of, uh, or second round today of the metronidazole, which is an antibiotic that typically helps. It's at a, at a minimum if there's any kind of GI stress or anything like that. In dogs, we utilize metronidazole quite a bit for helping to curb that. And then if the pigeon's gonna feel better, they're gonna eat and drink. And ultimately, a lot of those viral things, the lack of desire to eat and drink and um, you know, looser stool causes dehydration and that dehydration ultimately is what ends up being the problem, not the actual virus itself. So let's go ahead and grab a couple more. Okay, so this is 87117. And this little blue bar is one of the other birds. Whoop, there we go. One of the other birds that wasn't feeling great. Um, it has actually white flights on this side. But after just a couple days of the treated water and the metronidazole now, um, this bird's starting to feel a lot better. Um, starting to feel you know healthier, like it's starting to pack some meat back on. And this is 87116. Uh, 87116 is fat and sassy, feeling great. Another blue bar. And again, this pigeon does not have any white flights, just a straight blue bar. Easy now. But that, these two birds are lean boars, which lean boars are said to be longer distance birds, I believe, and a good bird to cross in to add a little bit of genetic diversity to some of these other birds that we've got. And then 87129 is a red check. Really pretty little bird. I believe that it is going to be a hen, not 100% yet, but um, these sea birds have, are known for having really good, rich eye color. I'm trying to learn more about the eye tests that can be done to learn about distances and everything else. And, for anybody that is just tuning in here, I am a newbie when it comes to pigeons and love learning from everything you guys have to offer, I'm reading books and pamphlets and everything that I can find. So if you've got added information or say, hey buddy, that isn't right, you should maybe look at this. I'm more than uh, happy to review that, just throw it in the comments below. But this is one of the other Sion birds, it's a red check. And then it's sibling here, 87130, another um, red check. Fat and sassy, feeling good. Looks like a smaller bird again. Just trying to judge on size and features that I'm guessing, again, we have another potential hen. Uh, the goal would be to be able to breed the Sion birds together. And on date of birth here, these birds are only uh, three days apart, according to the paperwork that I have. And being three days apart, there's a fair amount of size difference between them, which makes me think uh, there's a good chance that they could be smaller birds, but there's also a good chance that I have the red checks are both hens and the silvers are both cocks, but we will see on that. You can see it's a pretty nice, pretty nice looking bird all the way around. All right, there you go, bud. The next birds that we have are out of the Gabby Van and Beal lines of birds. And this would be the dark check birds, which I've got, where are you guys at? 87119, a little feisty this morning. Here, just relax. Um, I'll give you just a second to kind of Relax a little bit here. 87119 is a dark check out of the Gabby Van Beel line, which are supposed to be 
Some older lines have thrown a lot of really, really nice racing birds. A lot of these um, kind of older genetics, you can kind of look things up on the internet. I've been trying to do some reading about the specific lofts and what information that they have on those. But I'll give you just a second to kind of relax here. And then 87119 is this guy. 87113, the other dark check is right up here. Okay, so this is bird 87113. Um, had shown some very small signs of not feeling fantastic. Uh, he was on my list. He, she, it. Eight seven one one seven was, which is one of the the blue bars. Sorry, not not this check bird, but this bird's feeling good. Feels healthy, strong, happy to be alive. But you just hang out here close, and I'll show you. This bird's not quite as dark as the other dark check, and I don't know a whole lot what plays into that, but. That is what they were listed as when it came to me. And I am no expert when it comes to this coloring stuff. Again, that's the, you know, kind of Gabby Vanderbilt line of birds. Um, and then the last birds that I have to show you, last birds that I have to show you would be my blue check birds. This blue check bird was one of the ones that wasn't feeling great. And you can see how much more chipper it is all the way around. A pretty light blue check bird here. Show you. But that is this little bird. And then the last guy, where are you at? This is kind of the last. Uh, it's listed as a blue check. It looks darker, more like the dark checks compared to that other blue check. But again, I am not the easy now. I am not the the expert when it comes to this coloring stuff here. So I'll show you guys. You can let me know what you think. Is this a blue check or a dark check? You can see this bird is fat and sassy, looking good. And both of these birds are kind of inbred D. Dolly, uh, Jan Arden crosses, um, which is a god. Again, you start looking up online, you can find a lot about the the lines behind these birds on the interwebs. Good, go out here and sit on this perch again, there, Bob. Good. Well, folks, um, I will keep you posted on our progress couple birds that aren't feeling great. Uh, hopefully the little bit of medication is gonna help a lot to improve their overall, their overall feelings and desires to wanna eat and drink so that they can kind of catch up. And then we will be um, doing a little tour next week of a lot just to get a few more ideas and I should start building that here pretty soon, which will allow these guys to get out of here into something that's a lot better for them. But I'm gonna show you just a close up here of a few of these birds. And then we still have a couple of those colored birds in here that I got from the other gentleman there at Foy's. And that little red says, I don't wanna be on video, please. There they are. Sisters, hopefully sisters, right next to each other there. Looking birds. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.